good morning. Starting off in the shop here, looking for some ignition parts. I, uh, I don't know. My little 430 case has let me down this morning. So what we gotta do, sorry about all that, is uh, find an, uh, a coil, I believe is what it's called. Um, but my dad was just over here and he said there wasn't one and I said there was one so now he is over tending to the you know we keep a lot of stuff we always we don't get that's a fuel pump or what the hell is that that ain't gonna work we keep a lot of stuff so we don't have to uh, run to town right away. And that's kind of all right by me. What the heck is that? Thermostat? that? I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna look. We got uh, we got the dryer fired up this morning. A couple loads of uh, canola yet to dry. They did start into the peas and canola yesterday. Understandably, the peas are, are they're quite bleached from laying out so long, but that doesn't matter. Because they're all going to get ground up for feed anyways. Um, the nice thing about it is they were dry. The canola was dry and the peas were dry. So once we get Carl empty, we'll take them out. Mom, Corey, and the kids can go finish that. Unfortunately, I think they'll finish the rest of the quarter. Um, we we'll have enough room on Carl to store it all. <clears throat> Dad and I will work away in the yard, keep drying grain, keep... Uh, and then we're going to set up our separator to separate the peas and canola right away. And then we don't have to do it this winter. Here's another fuel pump. <clears throat> so that's what I was looking for. Um, three of them in here. I'll take these over to Dad. I think these are called foil. There's three of them though, so one should fit. And he can horse around with that. Because well, it's a good job for him. And I will unload the dryer and get it going again. So we can't quite get Carl unloaded, which I mean, that's always good, right? You want more grain than, than you think you have. So mom and Corey, they both, uh, they both unloaded what they had into this hopper because the front one's still got snow in it. The back one is empty. And once I get the front one totally empty, I will take it out to the field for them. Dry canola on the International, canola drying. That truck is empty, but we want to use it when we start to separate our peas and canola, so we don't want to fill it right now. That one is basically three quarters full, so I could run that out too if I need. And uh, while they got, right, so this, <clears throat> I've been, been talking a few videos about our crew. So we got uh, Dad, runs around doing everything in the yard, fixing, drying, unloading trucks. Also runs a combine every once in a while. This is kind of the uh, the main crew for this combine. We got uh, infant, toddler, and then mother. My mom is already gone in the 9610. She's got buddy with her basically all day, every day. And then there's me, who uh, always draws the short end of the stick. But you know what? That's okay. That's okay. I do. Uh, to what dad does run around watch the dryer haul the grain off the field keep track of the bins test the grain unload all the trucks and, uh, and that's just how it goes on a uh, on a family farm so we don't have any employees uh, but not that we're against that we're just not big enough to merit having it so all the work we seem to be able to get done by ourselves uh, funny though, we are in a bit of a, a bit of a stretch right now where uh, there's not, there's maybe not enough younger bodies to do some of the physical stuff or, or, or to work quite as fast. But hey, on a fall like we just had, on a fall like we had last year, on a fall like we had the year before, there's uh, there's plenty of time, so we don't need to get in too big of a rush. Well, they're plugging away here on this piece of canola. Looks like they're uh, maybe half 
then. So, so yeah, not, not running all that well, but uh, if a guy gets 3,000 bushels off of here for what it costs to seed that pea and canola mix, there won't be anything wrong with that either. I'm not exactly sure what happened here, straight uh, south of the farm, but the oats, they really struggled as well over here on this side. They were really short. The, the thing about oats though is they'll still yield here in this country. We can grow a pretty good oat, pretty nice quality oat, and a heavy oat. But uh, I don't know if we just didn't get the rain half a mile south here or what. Because over here, the peas and canola, they really, really struggled. Um, the Odyssey chemical that I sprayed didn't work at all. I don't know. I think it's called like Odyssey NXT or something. It used to just be called Odyssey formulated different and uh they carry on about how that's getting better kind of in our experience all of this all in one or different formulations of chemicals they don't seem to be working as good as they used to um and before anybody jumps down the tolerance route we spray different groups almost every single year um we don't just spray for the heck of it we we try not to desiccate so if anybody's de developing a tolerance, it shouldn't be us. We do a lot of tillage and things like that. So for this not to work, a little bit frustrating, but uh, the old Odyssey that we used to use, they claimed there was such a residual up here in the Peace Country. We never really saw that, but uh, I guess there could have been. We also used to spray the old stuff at two and a half gallons an acre. Now we're up to 10 and we seem to just have wreck after wreck. My ride's here, so I don't have to walk anymore. Well, good evening, I suppose. It's about 5.30. Couple more loads to dry. Um, we've had people come in all day to get molasses and grain and all sorts of stuff, and now Dad has got this set up. So this is the way that we separate the peas and canola. So uh, the super bees are full, and we have this tandem load too to do, but uh, looks like he's shutting down for supper's ready anyways, so. Out of the truck, through the yellow auger, up to that rotary cleaner at the top. It's got quite a big screen in it. The canola falls through the screen. The peas go out to shoot into the truck. Most likely what we're going to do is, uh, once this hopper bin is empty of, uh, of canola that needs to be dried, which is only going to be another load or two, uh, we will probably move that hopper bin over and set it up where that tandem is. That way we'll be able to unload our we'll be able to unload our super bees all at once and that'll free up uh, free up some augers and things. Uh, we are we are done harvest I guess with the exception of our 20 acres of sunflowers. But uh, we don't we don't really consider that part of the normal harvest if you will. So, so the reason I'm not going to factor the uh, the sunflowers into you know being officially done harvest is because for our kids every year we get them something you know so something that they want for the end of harvest a, a, like a present or something so so buddy he wanted a, a, a big combine for his farm playset and uh, and MHC wanted a fingerling I don't know what those are but anyway so. They were asking all day, you know, you know, Dad, do we got to be done the sunflowers too? And I said, no, you guys can. As soon as we're done that last field, you guys can go ahead and have those, have those gifts. Because um, it's, I mean, it's undeniable. Farm kids, they endure a lot. They put up with a lot during spring seeding, during fall harvest, kind of, you know, all year round too. Especially if you have animals, you know, they're out helping feed and stuff. And it's something that I can definitely relate to from my youth we had to either we live in town actually we had to either jump on the bus and come out to the farm if we didn't have homework and uh, it was a little, little bit different back then they, they didn't have this have this place so you know they, they actually had a motor home for us to hang out in and that's what we did we rode around no cell phones no nothing like that and uh, or no cell phones to play on anyways and you just uh, endured where this where the town kids they went home, they played Nintendo, whatever, whatever the, the town kids did. So uh, it's no different for my kids. They got, uh, 
they got a lot to do. They're all day in the tractor with their mom or their grandma or with me or with Papa. It's just it's a lot. So for them to put up with that at a young age, I definitely feel that they deserve a little something and I'm not going to make them wait another week or five days or however many days it's going to be before we're done uh, from the sunflower. But I'm going to grab a sample and then, uh, then go for supper. As always, thanks for watching. We'll see you all in the next one.